Hey you guys, welcome. Lots of you hopping in the room. I'll give you guys a couple minutes. I just posted on Instagram that I was going to be on here today doing a live tutorial of one of the most game-changing recipes I created a couple years ago. I want to see who's in the room. Hey Alexandra. Hey you guys, I've got my phone kind of far away from my working area today so I can't quite um, read what you're saying but I will I will come in with my granny glasses <laughs> and look at your comments. Uh, I'm super pumped to show you guys this uh, tutorial because it's gonna make a pretty big change in your life. It is game changing on several levels. So, you know, before I actually show you this, I wanna explain the why. Many of you that know me and know what I'm all about, you know that um, I care very much about giving you, you know, ways, ideas, recipes to make small changes in your life that are gonna have big shifts. And the one I'm gonna show you today is one of those things. So cool, it's awesome. I see a lot of you commenting saying that you've made this, you love it. It's actually the most popular blog post I've ever done on Whole Fit. It's had about 30,000 hits, uh, downloads, and uh, people love it. And here's why. Here, here are the main reasons why you're gonna wanna do this, okay? Number one, it's super cheap. What I'm gonna show you today is going to cost you about $7. Um, and now that you know big companies like Costco are jumping on the bandwagon with natural health items, we're seeing a lot of these things coming in bulk now, like Castel soap. You can get this big, ginormous 1.18 liter Castel soap now. I think it was like 13 or $14 for this at Costco. So super cool to see Costco responding to us, voting with our dollars, right? And um, so beyond it being super cheap, the number one reason people love this is that it's safe and effective. And you can use it in your high efficiency machines. How many of you, double tap if you use an HE machine? Um, I've been using it in mine now for over five years with great results. And after I show you the recipe, remind me to uh, tell you just a couple of other things I do when it comes to laundry health. Um, so we're gonna get started in a moment, um, but you know, this is gonna be a recipe that you'll want to adopt. You can play with it. I'm going to be uh, using the base ingredients, which are super simple, and, and then I'm gonna add the oils that we feel like adding for this round of liquid laundry detergent. That's why I love using essential oils in our home because you can you know, really choose what oil you want based on what you're drawn to, right? So I'm going to go with um, lemon and wild orange essential oil today because I'm in a very citrusy mood with summer um, finally upon us. So let me go through the key ingredients. And if you're taking notes, you can write these down or you can go over to my website, which is hol-fit.com. And you can just search the word laundry. You could even Google search whole fit laundry and it'll come up. But I'll give you the basics for right now. So the first ingredient you need, or the first item you need, is some kind of big container. So I'm just using a big laundry bucket, okay? Or a um, mop bucket. And that's what I'm gonna actually pour all the ingredients in because this recipe actually uses seven liters of water. So it's gonna produce quite a bit of volume. This recipe you're gonna make today will, will likely last you at least a month. For most people, it's two months. Thanks for posting my website. Love the comments, you guys. Uh, so, you know, it does produce quite a bit. And what you will do once you've made it in your big bucket, you can transfer it to an empty one. So I have an old one, um, and it's, it's a plastic one. So even though we're using essential oils, it's okay because they're so heavily diluted in this. And the key thing with essential oils, many of you know you're not supposed to put essential oils in anything plastic that you're drinking. This is because we don't want the oils to be breaking down the plastics then going into your body. But when you're using them in a recipe where you know, you're not gonna be actually digesting that, that end product, you're okay. And you, know, you might find that it, in some plastics, especially if they're the sketchy kind that break down, you will see that actually happening with the container regardless. Um, so anyway, let's get started. So when you have a big bucket, um, the first ingredient you're gonna need is a cup of castile soap. Okay, so I'm using this one that I picked up from Costco, like I mentioned, and um, it, uh, it is actually already uh, scented with peppermint, but they don't use the real deal that we all do, so it doesn't even really smell pepperminty at all. Um, so it will combine nicely with the citrus oils that I'm using, 
Um, before I pour that though, because I only have my one glass measuring cup, I'm gonna pour the dry goods. So the second ingredient you need is one cup of baking soda, okay? So I'm gonna measure this out. The best part about this recipe is it doesn't involve you grating soap bars. How many of you have tried some of those recipes before where it involves quite a bit of work like that? Getting a bar of soap, having to grate it down, I just wasn't really into that. When I was playing around with this recipe, I wanted it to be really simple for you to make um, and minimal ingredients. So after the um, cup of baking soda, I'm also gonna, my second dry good is coarse salt. Okay, you're gonna use one third of a cup of coarse salt. How's it going Facebook Live? Nice to see some of you on there. So I'm gonna add that to the bucket. And the last thing is my liquid castile soap, and then the water, and then essential oils, right? Like, this is just super easy, it's ridiculous. So, one cup, and I'm gonna pour that in. And I'm gonna start running my water in the sink so that it gets up to a really hot temperature. So you wanna add, you're actually gonna add seven liters of super hot water. And I wait until I've whisked it before adding my essential oils in, okay? So I'm gonna start that going right now. For those of you that are live on scope, what questions do you have about this? Post them into the comments below. Okay, so I'm just adding the seven liters of hot water. My favorite oil blends. Um, okay, hold on, I just saw the first three questions you guys are posting really quick. So number one, my, I'll share my favorite oil blends at the end. I've got them in a little caddy here. Um, how much to use per load? You would use the same amount that you would use with any other laundry detergent. It's safe for high efficiency machines, absolutely. Um, now the consistency of it, it will kind of settle. So it's a good idea to purchase a jug of some sort that you could give a good shake to before you use. Okay, so um, why salt? Salt adds um, a bit of a softening to it. Somebody asked about Epsom salts. I'm not aware if you could use those. Um, the laundry detergent that I normally use here is an on guard one and I, it was like running on low. So I always like to have this liquid one made up. Um, it's what I primarily use and I have the on guard one on for backup. So now I'm gonna give it a quick stir, okay? I'll try to stay on camera here. <laughs> and it will kind of sud up with bubbles, so you wanna make sure that you've actually added seven liters of water by the time the bubbles settle. Can you guys um, I'm not sure about that question with the water softener. Um, hmm, that's a good question. I feel like if you have an added system, you wouldn't need as much for sure. Um, you might want to try it first without the salt. You could always try making it again because it is so cheap. Like I mentioned, it'll cost you about $7 once all is said and done. Okay, so we need a little more water in there. It's nice and bubbly. Yeah, I would try leaving it out. So a couple of the things I want to share while this is just marinating. The laundry room is one of the, uh, yeah, $7 for either a month or two months. Depends how many people live in your home. I have two kids. My husband's a firefighter. We sweat every day. So we do laundry almost every day. It lasts me about a month. Uh, you use the same amount as you would with any other detergent. Um, so... The laundry room is not the first place people think of when they think of cleaning up their home and reducing their toxic load, right? So the laundry detergent, for me personally as a mom, when my little girl had um, awful skin issues happening in her first year after she was born, it was the last place I thought of. And I was doing all these other things. I had removed fragrance from our home, um, you know, wasn't using any toxic products on her, was really mindful of my diet, I was nursing her and I just couldn't figure it out. And it was actually this natural laundry detergent that I was purchasing at a health food store and it had natural fragrance in it. 
And this is what actually prompted this recipe, okay? So I encourage you to look at what you're doing in your home right now and give this recipe a try. There's another area I want to look at, and that's dryer sheets. I'm not sure of how many of you use those, but they are known to be one of the most toxic uh, products in our home, uh, right after air fresheners, actually. So a good substitute for that would be to use um, felt or, or wool dryer balls. You can find these at really any home goods store now, and you can add a couple drops of your favorite essential oil to the balls, okay? So I like to keep a little caddy of oils in my laundry room for nice, easy, I'll just add a couple of drops to this and throw it in the dryer. Um, some of you asked what my favorite oils are for cleansing and for in these recipes. Lemongrass and um, this cleansing blend called Purify are brilliant. I love them because they're super intense. They do the job. I actually like to put a drop of lemongrass on the inside of my toilet paper roll in the bathrooms because every time somebody winds it, it makes the room smell beautiful. Um, now, a couple other ones I want to mention. So today we're doing orange and lemon. I did mention that already. I also love white fur and grapefruit. Those two together kind of make your laundry smell like anthropology. So if you don't have the budget to be buying clothes in anthropology, just use white fur and grapefruit on your laundry and you'll feel like every day you're wearing clothes that came from anthro. <laughs> Uh, Lisa asked, where did I get the caddy? This is just a Plexi caddy that I got at HomeSense. They have tons of them. I think it's actually intended for lipsticks or nail polishes, but it works perfect for oils. Um, so, and then I also obviously like lavender. Lavender is very calming. I'll, I'll add that to the dryer balls as well. Um, oh, and geranium is an interesting one for using on your dryer balls. It actually has a really nice feminine, um, it's just, it's super bright, happy, joyful. I also like to use Elevation Blend. You know, it really depends what you're, you're looking to get out of your laundry experience. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the oils now. I recommend between 20 to 40 drops total in this recipe. If you're using an oil like lemongrass, which is quite intense, you would probably only need 20 drops. For these ones, um, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna do 20 of each. Do I have an air freshener recipe? Um, not so much that, but I'm a huge advocate for diffusers. How many of you have essential oil diffusers in your home? They simply take essential oils and mix them with water and clean your air, purify your home, and totally shift the vibe. You can create whatever kind of vibe you want in your home using diffusers. So when I first started, I had just one diffuser on the, the, the main level of our home and then I basically, over time, started adding a diffuser into every room of our house. And now, uh, I actually posted this on Instagram earlier this week. One of the first things I do in the morning is I grab a big jug of water and I go around the house and I, I water my green plants and I water my diffusers. Awesome, Jackie. Hey girl, five diffusers in your house. Someone's diffusing Digest Zen right now for a sick little one. Oh, sending love to babe. You're a diffusing queen. You take one on vacation, where you go, it goes. Awesome, yeah, I brought it on a cruise. <laughs> we went on this cruise and we were so thankful for it. Oh my gosh, you guys, the people next to us had collected shells and it, they still had things in the shells. <laughs> it was just like rotting the whole floor of this cruise. I was so thankful to have a diffuser. Take them camping, awesome. Yeah, diffusers are, diffusers are probably the main way people get involved using oils because they're super comfortable you know getting started some people don't like to go right into making their own products I mean what I'm teaching you here today I know you guys are down with this there's people who will never do this they you know to them this is meh you know too hippie-ish or something until they have a reason why they need to do it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and add these oils 20 drops of each I'm using lemon and wild orange Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's lemon. I love, love, love lemon. I go through a bottle of lemon every month. <laughs> no joke. I just cannot get enough of it. I love diffusing it on its own too. Okay, there is our 40 drops total. 
Lots of hearts for lemon flying up on the screen. I'm going to give it one quick whisk. I want to hear from you guys live in the group. We've got about 100 people live. Have you made this recipe before? How many people have made this? Not this one. You've made variations. Jackie has. Jenny. Hi, Kim. All right. Kind of a mixed bag. Some of you have tried it. Some haven't. I'm super excited for you to try this and let me know what you think. Hop onto Facebook Live. This recording will actually, um, it'll stay on Facebook Live and it'll stay on Periscope as well. Uh, but comment below the Facebook Live video with what you think. <laughs> the, the knuckle busting one, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have borax in our home. I use borax when I need to do more um, scrubbing kind of things. I use it with baking soda. But uh, I don't use borax in this one. And, and there's people who are kind of on the fence about whether... Um, borax is actually really that safe for us um, so I don't know I mean I you don't need to use it in this recipe and again this recipe had just those simple ingredients for those of you that joined last minute here I'll go over the recipe real quick yeah this recipe is totally easier than a lot of the DIY laundry soaps this is it's so easy like there's no reason why you can't do it um, so again just to read off the ingredients you start off with a big pail or bucket you add one cup of castile soap one cup of baking soda, one third a cup of coarse salt, and seven liters of water. And then you basically pick whatever essential oils you want to add um, between 20 to 40 drops total. Yeah, it's super safe. I see questions people are asking if it's safe for cloth diapers. If It's good you're asking those questions, but how awesome when you actually can make something and know what's going in that product. Ask those questions of the companies. Ask those questions of the products you're buying. Uh, my website's hol-fit.com. It doesn't seem very strong or potent for stinky men's clothes. Perhaps not. But what I would do in that situation is I would um, add some Purify or lemongrass to a, um, a ball in, a, in the dryer with the stinky men's clothes. I also, um, I love to use this On Guard Cleaning Concentrate. For things that have tougher stains, it'll take anything out. Um, so if you have like a real bad stink, you could you could let it soak with some of this in some water. Yeah, the dryer ball basically helps the um, the air circulate in the dryer, so it helps dry your clothes quicker, and it infuses the clothes with aromatherapy. Facebook Live questions on here? Okay, I just mentioned the recipe, and if you want to um, hop onto my website. If you just Google whole fit laundry, it'll come up. Yeah, the concentrate is totally a secret weapon. It, it actually, it does so much. With this one bottle, I can make 12 all-purpose cleaners and I've removed everything with it. Blood, red wine, gum, you name it. I just put a dab on and give it a little scrub. Okay, so how many of you are gonna try this this weekend? Are you into a little fun DIY project? Yeah, it is super safe for kids. This is why I got started doing the work that I do. I wanna, I wanna really help homes, and specifically moms, rock a natural lifestyle because we need to for our kids. They're up against way too much today and, and the laundry room is one of those areas we just all, don't always think about, right? Awesome, well, I'm just really excited you guys could hop on live on the Sunday afternoon and you can catch the recording on both Periscope and on Facebook Live. What's my opinion on Jessica Alba's Honest Company? I've never used any of those products. Um, I've heard good things. I've heard not so good things too. I don't know. I, I think, I really, I really think it's cool when you can find a brand you trust and also have the option to make your own. This is what leads a lot of people down this journey with me, um, this essential oil lifestyle, because you have that choice. You can either just buy the made version or make it yourself. Oh, somebody asked how the visit with the doTERRA crew is going. Spencer's right behind me. So he's filming me talking to you and trying not to get in the, in the, in the view. I needed to do this Periscope today because as I said, I'm all out of my laundry detergent. So I thought, hey, let's, uh, let's show this at convention. <laughs> so cool. So, okay, a couple more questions coming in. Do you put the concentrate directly on the stain? Yeah, you totally can. And I just give it a little scrub with an old toothbrush. 
I'll take like one more question, then we'll hop off. We all need to get outside today, right? Hey, hi to Spencer. Facebook Live can see you. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Spencer does all the cool videos for doTERRA. Do I use a doTERRA laundry detergent or just this recipe? I use both. I have a backup system going on. So I, I you do have the On Guard detergent. It's um, a concentrated version. And um, it, again, it lasts me the same amount of time. Um, it's just a little more money, right? So I, I will make my own when I can. And, and I like getting in there and making my own. And I like, you know, choosing what I want to put in it for oils. It's fun. Is lemon oil good for stains? On clothing, I haven't found it the most effective thing. Uh, I do, I find the cleaning concentrate is better. Thank you, Laura, for the love. Do I ever use On Guard oil for internet? I sure do. Actually, the recipe you'll see on my website is On Guard and Citrus Bliss. Oh, awesome. You just had a major convention at an Orange Beach condo with the wet line. I didn't see the last part of your post there. What about for oil spots? If, uh, like, like if you got olive oil or coconut oil, is that what you're talking about? Jenny said lemon's great for stains. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't had the, the greatest results um, on things that are like white getting stains out, but I love lemon for um, getting things out of furniture, things that I can be a little more abrasive with. Lemon works brilliantly, like if your kids draw on your couch with permanent marker or something. On guard detergent for oil spots as a pre-treat, exactly. Oh, okay, so yeah, you got um, a lipid state, like ghee, okay. Uh, so for that, um, you could actually use club soda. Club soda will help lift. Lemon would help in that situation to lift, but if you catch it early enough, it is, the key thing with that is that you don't want to run it through the washer and dryer. You want to try to lift the, the oil stain before it goes through the, the machine. <laughs> Somebody said, yo, Spence. <laughs> hey, Steph. Candlish, you'll love white fur. I mentioned it with grapefruit. Super good. All right, I'm gonna close this up. I gotta go run a load of laundry and then we're gonna go outside and do a little filming. Okay, you guys, have a great weekend. Mwah, thanks for joining live.